Welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson, and this is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, guys. So tonight we will be continuing where we left off, where we were, last time we were here, we reviewed House of the Dead 1. And now... And now we're going to review the sequel, The House of the Dead 2, that was released in 2005. Think Two years later, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a far better movie than the first movie. Yeah, it's a far, far better thing uh, than I yeah, would I, ever have done think, before. I think this one went straight to DVD. I can't remember. DVD, I video, yes, whatever, yeah. whatever um, it was back in those days. available um, at the time. I, yeah, I think it went back in uh, straight to there. I don't, I don't think it has cinema release. Uh, it's still based on the Sega game, yes. but um, a better version of the Sega game, probably. I, I haven't seen the games. Have you seen the games? Yes, I have. And I've even seen a remake of the first one. Is the first movie in line with the game, or the second movie in line with the game, or they're both nowhere near the game? Nowhere near the game. Okay, Except then. for Name only. <laughs> the names like Logan and G and Curian's ca- characters' names. Okay. Those are the only things that uh, have a bit of a connection to okay I will say one thing I'll say it again later when I'm talking about available oh and the oh, AMS sorry. who are yeah. the um, official alien I mean American zombie monster group. Uh, services whatever um, now uh, what, go on. I, what I'm going to say is that um, I'll say it again at the, at the end got it but I'll say it again now I'll say it now to reinforce it that when you go looking at this if you're intending to buy a copy remember there are game discs out there as well at you know, Amazon and eBay and different other places. So don't buy the game if you're looking for the video. Just make sure you read what you're buying, okay? Right. I'll reinforce it later on, but I just want to mention it now to keep it in your uh, your tonal heads and so <laughs> you can remember it. So I'll do it twice. You won't make a mistake and waste your hard-earned money. So let's dive into it, shall All we? All the good bits. It produced good by bits. Mark. Altman and Mark Gottwald, uh, directed by Michael Hurst. Obviously got rid of the other guy. And um, uh, story by uh, Peter Shearer and Michael Roesch, Roesch, R-O-E-S-C-H. Screenplay by Mark Altman. Oh, Mark Altman, he was a producer as well. Okay. Now. Yeah, he was the. Um, I think um, he also did this screenplay for the first one. I think you did too. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I got nothing on budget or box office. So of course, considering it went directly went, to went DVD, direct to DVD or, or video, whatever, or video, or probably DVD. I think it's, board, it's borderline there because they're changing over from tapes to DVD, so mm. some didn't go to VHS. But anyway. Right. Now, okay, where are we? Well, box office we've covered. I've got so many people here that uh, some people aren't really important. But look, I'll just go through them anyway. Uh, Emmanuel Voyer, V-A-U-G-I-E-R, plays Dr. Alexandra or Alex Nightingale Morgan. She is our leading lady, a very attractive very, what's the word? Um, Beautiful? No, I just said attractive. Attractive, but she's like, it's like a Mila Dovovich in uh, Resident Evil. She's a really action hero type, and she suits the part. Yeah, she is so very serious. Like the, the beauty and the beast wrapped up in one. She's a beauty, and she's a beast when it comes to fighting off the dead guys. Yeah, that, she and um, the, this next other guy seem to pull it off for me. Yeah, Ed Quinn. Um, interesting guy, a bit scruffy, which he's supposed to be for his role. Uh, he looks good as Lieutenant Jake Ellis. They, uh, that's her uh, partner that's, in crime. Yeah, uh, sort of like uh, Muldrin Scully, if you will. Yeah, a bit like, and they work. They both work for AMS, which is a, I don't know. It stands for American Monster Services or what yeah, it stands well, for. Yeah, well, as I said before, Mike, AMS not, they're uh, a real a group in the game, and yeah. you f- when you play the um, the characters in the game. You yeah. always um, play the um, AMS guys, obviously. Okay. Now, Go anyway, on. there's a guy called Sticky Fingers. Sticky Fingers. Plays Sergeant <laughs> Dalton. I think Sticky Fingers is, or uh, wait, yeah, I think he's a rapper. I think. I can't remember. Mm. I, I know the name, but I'm not in that sort of music. But Me neither. Anyway, Steve Monroe mm. plays O'Connor. He's one of the soldiers. Yeah. Who are uh, under uh, Sergeant Dalton. Oh, the rest of these are all mainly soldiers, I think. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, okay, Except so for um, Colonel Casper. Yeah, so I'll mention that when I get down. But a lot of these are soldiers underneath. And, 
Professor Roy Curian, who is done by Sid. Hey. Yeah, he's the guy we mentioned last time, but we forgot hey. his last name. Sorry, yeah, guys. Sorry, Sid. Now, was it mostly John Salters? So, yeah. Steve Munro plays O'Connor. Victoria Pratt plays Lieutenant Alison Henson. James Parks plays Bart. Dan Southworth plays Nakagawa. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, Billy Brown plays Griffin. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Nadine Velazquez, Velazquez, whatever, uh, plays Private Maria Rodriguez. Uh, now, L. Cor- uh, Cornell plays Colonel Jordan Casper. She's the only person who was actually in the first movie who actually appears in the second yeah, movie. Yeah, she was the most like the, well, she was in in the, that movie, the first movie. She was um, claimed to be dead, but she I think she just got nibbled on and saved yeah. by now, the AMS I guys. Did, Something struck me funny when he reviewed and uh, looked at the last movie. What's that? Sid Haig plays Professor Roy Curian. Yes. But didn't the guy at the end say his name was Rudolph Curian? Yes. So is there a Rudolph Curian and a Roy Curian in the game? I think, um, no. Okay. I, I mean, the yeah. Curian name is yeah. the lead, the yeah, know, lead villain. Saying, but what, what, what would they use Rudolph in the first movie, well, and have Roy in this one. Well, Whatever. this one, um, Mike here, uh, I think Sid plays the sort of the father to Rudolph. Ah, uh, well, that's what I'm saying. So, so I don't sort know. of after his son, um, I guess, got killed by his girlfriend. I think probably uh, he took over the uh, experimenting of with his girl with the. Um, oh, that's right. His... To, probably re- re- to, to learn how to reanimate. That's what he's yeah. trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now. I mean, that's it's mentioned in the in a bit of a flashback. Okay. And there's two other people who are not quite sure whether they were soldiers or not. Uh, Marcia, I think, is the name. Marcia Monroe plays Sarah Curtis, and Cam Powell plays Lonnie Evans. Oh, they might have been the two kids in the the lab, maybe. Mm, yeah, they were. Mm, yeah, Sarah I mean, and Lonnie. Sarah, yeah. I do remember the Sarah one, obviously. Yeah, so it says, being uh, my namesake. Marcia, Marcia. Marcia, what a uh, Monroe. Yeah, Sarah Curtis and Cam Powell plays her boyfriend. Lonnie Evans, who both get chewed up by the, uh, the naughty guys. Um, yeah, so I can't think of anything else to say at this point in time. Yeah, aside um, from those three, the rest are army soldiers who are trying to get a cure or some or the original first um, zombie, you know, to likely make a cure for to or a vaccine so that they can so people can be saved from being yeah, bitten. I, I think Sig Haig is trying to figure out something to learn how to reanimate people. And I get the impression, gut feeling, that other people were doing the same sorts of experiments in parts of the world, and that started the zombie outbreaks. Yeah. yeah. It's what mm. happened in the games themselves. Yeah. Like, um, Mr. Curian was connected to uh, a lot of other other people, probably wealthy businessmen, who would pay a bundle of money to oh, make oh, yeah, sure they do His son this. was Rudy. Yes. A survivor of Ilsa Del Moy. So his, his, <laughs> his son didn't die, he survived. And then he died in, when he got yeah. back to America. The end for him. And, and, he, and his daddy experience on another survivor, Alicia, which is the one in the fridge. Mm. Running around him. Yeah, his girlfriend. I mean, yeah, uh, Rudolph's whatever. girlfriend. Yeah, 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 the girlfriend. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's what I think it was the name of the last movie. Yeah, because mm. she was yeah. injected by... And then, I don't know what happened, but somehow the zombie in her it's kind of come out. So whatever he used kind of made her into a zombie, if not quickly. Anyway, do I start telling the story? Yes, sir. Okay. The story begins. It takes place in a university where a bunch of frat guys are going to, to a. Oh, a bit like a. Yeah, it's pan- sort of like call a panty, a raid, panty raid or slash. Um, the sort of, party. Yeah, <laughs> like rushing. That's the word. Rushing, where you have to take part in a sort of thing to make sure you're worthy to be part of that sort of group. Anyway, they they. they so uh, they go to the zit sorority. That's why it's called zit. And they go, <laughs> and, and they they, they uh, get in under false pretenses, and instant party starts. Yeah, that's and, not too bad. And a lot of nudity. At this point. And a bit of sex. And whatever. of course, the, one Hollywood. of the girls gets offended by her boyfriend and she heads out. Well, she was set up for uh, to be caught on camera. Uh, iPhone or something rather, uh-huh. or a camera while she was having sex with her boyfriend. And it was all set up so they could... Uh, okay. Uh, called the trophy, I suppose, a trophy nookie. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, she heads out, and then she kind of collides into um, the professor's car, Professor Curian, I mentioned, 
who actually k- kind of hits her and he takes her back to his lab where he strips her naked and she was dead and and, st- and uses um uh the um girl the um lady i mentioned the lady whom um he's experimenting on's blood and jacks it into her and he waits for her for a few minutes. Nothing happens, and he thinks that he'll never be able to find a way to he goes, reanimate the dead body. He walks away. Guess who gets off off the table? Hmm. She rises, and then the whole pandemic starts happening. He see, she chews him, and he goes walking. He chews somebody else, and for a few minutes, the school it's spreading. Is, and this is really funny. This one, it spreads straight away. There's yep. no waiting. No, no waiting time here. You know, you yeah. First come, first serve. It's better than going to McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, speaking of eating out, <laughs> well, not eating out. Uh, well, I was going to say that, uh, eating. Yeah. Alex Nightingale, I'm going to call her that because that's a beautiful name. Alex Nightingale. Is actually yeah. going out with a guy she met on online or online something. Or something yeah, some dating who, site. Yeah. yeah. And she actually um, witnessed uh, a man, the chef, getting bitten by Curian, who's now a zombie, a Zed. And. Zed. And she quickly makes her way to the she- to the kitchen and kills the man, the chef. Obviously, of course, we don't see Kieran again until the very end. We, I think that he continues spreading the virus while un, you know, unobserved. Well, everyone needs a needs a job, don't they? Yeah. yeah. The uh, sous chef or the waiter, he gets bitten sous by chef. the it chef. It was a waiter. Not yeah. Sous chef. And he was taken away for. And of course, she meets up with uh, Jake Ellis. Yeah, that's him. And they go over what's happening. He tells her about how his brother, who was also on a mission, got killed. Yeah. And they both work for AMS. They are agents. And they know... They are more aware of what's going on about the zombie thing. They're not, they're not shocked. They're not even... Unaw- they don't pretend that... Or not really pretend that the zombie out thing is happening. I think this is an ongoing... Thing that happens in their lives every Bugger. so often. That's a job. They're zombie killers. Yeah, they head to their their um sort of secret organization. That's the bat cave. No, yeah. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> it's like a bat cave. It's a bat shed. Yeah. <laughs> there they meet with their colonel, Colonel Casper. That's her name. She ain't no ghost. And just so you guys know, she's still got um no, not a leg to stand on because she got her legs chewed off in the last battle yeah, got, between got the a bit, zombies. Got a bit damaged, but she's still a head. You can't keep a good female down a eh? yeah. yeah she tells them about how that they're, they're about a new pandemic that's r- zombie pandemic that took place in the university and she suspects that this is probably where the first one of the Zeds yeah, yeah. Looking occurred for the, looking for uh, uh, what do you call it what do you call it number one level number one number level one or yeah, um, yeah the first you know, the, 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 uh, the, the originating point for the virus they get a pure strain yeah. of it so you can make an antidote from so it. So mm. she sends Alex and Jake, and along with some other army soldiers who are not connected well, to yeah, AMS. Yeah, well, AMS are actually independent of the, of the soldiers, but they got a soldier, a small platoon, mm. about half a dozen people there. Mercenaries, probably. To, to, no, not mercenaries, and army people who uh-huh. are there to help them and. And they're cocky like in all the other yeah. news saying, oh, we know how to kill people. We're yeah. soldiers. We're I mean, uh, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And, yeah. But they haven't killed any dead people before, yeah. have they? Yeah, they tra- no one knows how to shoot them. Yeah, they treat the AMS guys like they're unprofessional or just not f- efficient enough, even though uh, even one of them says um, when it push comes to show, they'll be, they would be um, – Hot, would be scared of their wits while they would clean up the mess. But in reality, it's around. the other way around because both Alex and um, uh, Jake are, f- I mean, yeah, Jake are familiar with zombie um, yeah, stuff. They've been doing it for, doing it for years. Yeah, yeah for who, who knows how long. Anyway, so, of course, um, they think the G.I. Joe type soldiers are going to get themselves killed. Of course, we're proven right. As they arrive at the canvas or outside the canvas grounds they are proven wrong right because two soldiers um get bitten the next first couple of minutes yeah and it's because of their sort of stupid the lazy blase attitude, blase and, attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and anyway so eventually um um links to our ams guys they were able to shoot the, the um idiots <laughs> and nice. Without even uh, so much as, um, you know, uh, you know, feeling a little weak in the head, but, you know, or regret. 
Anyway, they they soon arrive at the um, canvas grounds and they start spreading out. Some of them go to the left, some go to the right. Of course, um, Bart and I think Allison and uh, Maria, yeah, they go up to um, inside, inside some can, you know canvas sleeping accommodations and they find a few, a few one or one of the Zeds, and there, Bart kind of misbehaves, starts taking pictures of the oh, um, no, they Zeds. kill the Z first. Yeah, kill the Z. Yeah. But he then misbehaves, and like he's not, he's not, his mind's not on the job. He gets, he gets a sunny side shot or whatever, a little camera, uh, 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 he found the drawer and he starts taking selfies of himself with, with the zombies. Look at that yeah. trophy. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. He's a little sicko. Yeah. He's a sicko. He also goes on about... Um, when he um, he gets bitten by a mozzie, and we think that and, may be and the... And no wondering how the people in the locked room got infected. You go, ah, yeah. maybe the mosquito carried zombie blood and they zapped somebody and that person zombified mm. and but got bit the other people. Who knows? Mm, yeah. That could mean... Funny. He then... We were proven sort of correct, but the, then uh, Bart gets bitten and uh, they begin to question whether or not they should bring him along or should get I him to shoot him. I would have killed him anyway. He was a nasty piece. Of course, he reveals that he'll pay them, say, a certain amount of monies if they, they bring him along. Something about a pharmaceutical company will oh. pay a great deal of, after they get the... Uh. When, the they get one the blood, when they get the blood sample from mm-hmm. the, the, the the pure source, yes. he was going to sell it to a pharmaceutical company who would pay millions for it. And he was offering about $500,000 each yeah. if they uh, worked with him. Yeah, and anyway. Um, the caring, girl, caring one, man. Yeah, the girl knocks him out and handcuffs him to a um, radio. radio yeah. And they all both head back to the truck, which, as it turns out... Um, I think the, the zombies, zombies destroyed there. the radio, preventing them to actually contact headquarters about what's new developments. And the guy who's driving the van, he is total traumatic. I mean, traumatized. Yeah, he's... He, you he, think this guy who's been to Afghanistan yeah, and back yeah, he's would seen know... seen zombies before, has yeah. he? Yeah. You think these guys be experienced. So you guys watch as the other soldiers who spread out across the grounds, you see the... Well, in one scene when they're in the library, uh, they notice a Zed just n- reading a book. And okay, and one so of the there's a thing. Oh, he's not. A, he can't be Zed. Zeds don't read. Yeah. He wasn't reading. He was going through what his memory, his residual memory, said he would have been doing. Yeah, That's and all it was. if he was yeah. alive and stuff like that, he would not just be leaning over a book. He would be hiding, you know, from the Zeds, exactly not right. um, doing what he does best by sitting on a table, at a table, and reading a book. Anyway, um, as he approaches, the Zed attacks him, and luckily enough. Um, Jake was able to shoot her, him, and shoot another one who's a librarian who just was just doing her job. Yeah, she was going around and going, shh, keep quiet, shh. Yeah. 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 Anyway, Dalton turns out to be nice. the most lousy of leaders because he's the leader of the group while Jake and um, Nightingale are there, just there to be the science the guys, science team, yeah. Team behind oh, Mr. It. Spock, you understand? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a science officer, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, anyway, when push comes to shove, when they do encounter more zombies, he turns out to be really lousy because he keeps... Um, when Jake suggests, let's keep moving, he says, I'm in charge, I, sh- I get to say what we have to yeah, do. So let's keep moving. <laughs> yeah, duh. Duh, I might as well throw it out there. Anyway, soon enough, um, more Zeds arrive and he gets bitten and then he is put out of everyone's, his, out of his misery and our misery. <laughs> yeah, more stuff. Oh, yes, I think I also learned that I think Dalton was with Brat about sending the blood to a pharmaceutical company, whatever. I think he was like he, the other guy who wanted to get in on the um, action and not get a pension, a money pension from the Ameri- from the army, obviously. Whatever. Anyway, so they eventually, um, um, one more soldier gets killed, obviously. He gets um, his armor chewed through and he, di- he, he gets bitten and he dies, obviously. Mm-hmm. And so it's up to um, Alex and Jake to get this blood sample. Oh, yeah, another soldier, he, he wanders off thinking he's chasing after a vic- um, uh, possible... Um, 
still alive and survivor, but he t- she turned out to be just misleading him to, in order to de- get devoured. Yep, and he did. Mm. Huh? Anyway, soon enough, they ar- the um, remaining guys they head to the to the lab, and there they find the two young survivors, the um, Sarah and her boyfriend, and there they explain the situation, and there they explain about how Rudolph and his girlfriend went off to an island, had a rave, and then they came back with minus um, an injury and minus a few bite marks, <laughs> and they were t- cross-examined by the AMS, you know, interrogated, and let go, obviously, thinking nothing of it. And then I guess the effects of her, you know, the of what what Rudy and um, Rudolph injected in her started taking effect rather slowly, and soon enough, um, Roy she killed her boyfriend, and now he, um, his father is looking after her. Of course, then that whole thing started happening. She's still inside a cage, so um, Sarah unlocks the cage, the and then our two AMS sol- um, agents were able to subdue the um, number one zombie and, and were able to get a, um, a positive blood sample, feeling relieved that they finally found a yeah. blood sample from the original, uh, well, one of the originals, a source, a yeah. source mm. and hopefully they might be finding a cure. Soon enough, some Zeds c- came into the ro- come into the other room and kill our two students, living the living students, and while they're being devoured, the our two agents sneak past them. Yeah, I think the door pops open. Actually, I think a zombie might have bumped against the switch or something or other. Or, yeah. yeah. Anyway, soon enough, um, Andy, uh, uh, Jake, and uh, Alex they quickly try to get away. A few more Zeds start appearing in different corridors, different places. Unlike in the game, where you have you you're able to shoot them down here in Willy Nearly there and all that stuff. Yeah, oh, unlike the um. The first movie, which they used game references all over the place. This one doesn't have any game references where they just do clips of the game. Yeah, like the there, first movie. This, uh, th- that made this movie better for those funny little clips coming in, yeah. Yeah, soon enough, uh, I think it was Allison who rode in the va- the van and was able to pick up the AMS sold, um, agents. And But fortunately, when uh, Jake had the... Um, he had the pouch with the blood sample in it, and it was ripped off his his um, belt. Yeah, belt. Yeah, and, that, and one the, of the zombies chasing yeah. grabbed his belt, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the blood sample is um, dis- um, damaged. So they have to go back again for a second time. This time they head across the school oval, the f- football field, mm-hmm. if that's the word, and there they um, fight off the few Zeds and use and. Jake uses his brain to cover himself with some dead zombie blood to make him it smell like smell a zombie. Horrible. And I thought these mm. things smelled bad on the outside. Ta da! Ta da! Okay, sorry. Mm. Anyway, um, they have only a few minutes because the military or the AMS are going to fire missiles mi- into the spot, yeah, destroying and destroy the whole area, the whole area. And kill the, the zombie outbreak. And they only had a few minutes left to go. It's always got a few minutes left to go, and it seems to. Be very long, short. I mean, it's probably five minutes. It feels like it's, feel, feel like it's fifty minutes. Feels yeah, like twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, soon enough they return back to the lab and they eventually get a fire. second um, blood sample. Of course, at this point, Allison's a done is a down for because she gets the bitten tube. by Sarah, the reanimated zombie, and she. Allison um, realizes that there's no chance she won't survive, so she remains behind. And he, she, in the last b- moments, she tells she tells, she yeah. tells um, Jake about her how she has a sister, and and he's thinking most. He was talking earlier about um, his brother, and I guess she's starting to realizing that she, if they find if they don't get this this blood sample. We, that the human race will be doomed, and therefore her sister oh, yeah. will be among those who were doomed. She, if, yeah. if she's still alive, I, I don't know. know. Anyway, so um, Jake and Nightingale they quickly try to get through the um, 
to, but they're running out of ammo, running out of time, and so they quickly use um, axes and her pocket knife. I think her. Oh, she had an army knife, not a pocket knife. I mean, a knife, and they start killing the zombies. You, you and know, they're really good too. Yeah. yeah, of course they're running out of time, and soon enough the missiles arrive, and quickly they have to scatter and get away. Of course. Uh, um, Jake gets to the van with the blood sample in tow. There he meets Bart with a severed hand, or se- yeah, severed hand. Yeah, he cut his ha- hand off to get away. He, he, yeah, he, could, he couldn't undo the handcuffs, so he had to cut his hand off. He goes, yeah. yeah. He demands to see the blood sample, and he goes on to say that he plans on selling it to this pharmaceutical company or whoever. And make lots of money. And um, he goes on about how um, that. He deserves this after going through... And he even tells him that, that he was bitten by a mosquito and he he doesn't feel like he's going to turn into a Zed. Or it's very, very slowly, but yeah. Yeah, well, it's a small bug. We don't know, you see. He, yeah. he doesn't turn into a Zed during this bit. Yeah, in the next moment, he gets shot by Nightingale, who survived the um, zombie and the missile. And as, as they're about to... Um, take the blood sample, uh, Bart takes out a, a hand grenade and he blows both the truck and himself up. And that included the vial. Yeah, the vial is destroyed yet again. Yet again. And we all re- realise that the earth is doomed and the, that the virus is spreading even after they exploded the school up. Yeah, bugger. Never and, of mind. course, we think that Nightingale might also have been infected, even though it's been a couple of minutes. And usually in this one, the zombies... They turn pretty quick. They usually turn really yeah. quick. So she doesn't ha- look like she's infected, but uh, Jake doesn't want to kill her. I think he has feelings for her. He's, he, ex- he expresses he, he has feelings for her. And he says he'll wait to see if, if it... Is confirmed. If he looks like she's going to turn, he'll shoot her, but not until she looks like she's turning. Yeah. What a nice man they get here. They then get into a truck that's... Um, they found a truck. They found a truck. Well, yeah, and, no one, the zombies were using it. And yeah. they then head into the city, which has now ha- become a zombie a war, war zone. zone. Yeah, all zombies are taken and over. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. radio, um, so on the radio, it says that the president or the government, are, they're trying to... In, What's the word? Um, quarantine some of the areas around the city to yep. end all that stuff. And I think very soon that it will be a di- they'll have to. Uh, it'll be a difficult war zone situation, yep. like Resident Evil situation. That sort of stuff. Yeah, like they're the hive. And yeah. that's the end of this movie, guys. Fade to black. Fade oh, to yeah. black. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, there's a oh. post credit scene where we see Professor Curian Sid still. Around and Wandering that could around. indicate what that when he was he was still alive when he, he attacked the chef. Well, he so he may he? be yeah. attacking more and more people outside. Uh, he, he's, so he's in the city area. Yeah. You see, so, and whereas other people were at the university or whatever. Yeah. So yes. there you go then. So uh, that's uh, the movie. So let's discuss reception and all the other stuff. Can I be just? Dis- I will do. Mm. Okay. It's lots of little bits here, snippets, you know, that sort of stuff. It waffles on a bit. Okay, basically, mm-hmm. it's 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 either a love it or you hate it sort of bad attitude of the uh, mm-hmm. reviewers. And so now Ian Jane of DDV Talk mm-hmm. rated it one out of five stars. Figures. Um, he says, whereas the first film was so bad that it was almost good, at least we could laugh at it. This straight-to-video sequel is just flat-out bad, and unfortunately, it's flat-out dull. That's what he thinks, anyway. Mm. Uh, House of the Dead 2 commits the ultimate celluloid sin. Really? It's boring. Uh-huh. I didn't think it was boring. I did, anyway, th- I did um, think it was improvements in some areas, guys. Right. Uh, okay. uh, Beyond, Beyond Hollywood uh, wrote... If you were looking for a movie to show you how generic and formulaic horror movies in America have become lately, you don't need to look any further than House of the Dead 2. Uh-huh. And I must admit, yeah, you got a formula process in a lot of movies. And it, yeah, we do that, we do that, put a bit of sex scene in it, do something else, yeah. blah, 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 and shake it up and throw it out there on a the table, and that's yeah. the script and the storyline. Yeah. doesn't always work, This is folks. another movie that has a lot of revealing... Uh, 
nude shots. Yeah, talk, talk about it. Very nice. Uh, no. <clears throat> um, they never skimp on the cream with this now, one. But now we're turning around the other way. He, because he said it, the, the first movie was watchable, this one isn't. Now, the next reviewer says... It is indeed an improvement over Bowl, that's the director, hmm. original, but it would have worked better had it stuck to camp uh, and not taken the whole zombie thing too seriously. So, what he's trying to say is they tried to, in his mind, they tried to make this movie too serious. If they made it a bit more campy and stuff, it would have been a little bit yeah, better. So, so he thought it was. Average to good, yeah. Now, Bloody Disgusting gives it three out of five stars. It, right. Altman's script skewers everything in its wake, poking fun at virtually anything it can get its bloody hands on. Right. Bloody, like, not bloody, but bloody, mm. you know. Uh, I get it. But underneath all the pop culture uh, banter, uh, pop culture banter lies an effective film mm-hmm. with some palpable tension and enough blood. Grew and boobs, I see, you know, the formula, uh, to surprise even the most jaded zombie movie hater. Now, um, yeah. another one, John Condit from Dread Central rated it three out of five stars and wrote that it is deserving a chance despite its flaws. Now, that's, see, that's the like. They're trying to be fair, fair uh, in their reviews. Reviewing the DVD, uh, Steve Barton of uh, Dread Central rated it three out of five stars as well. It's semi blood soaked, filled with zombies, open for business, and dare I say, it's actually not a bad visit. So, so, so you know, it's half the reviewers don't like it, and half the reviewers think it's a pretty fair go, even though it might not be top of the pile. So, mm. There you have it. And I would be in agreement with the guys that think it's a fair shake of the stick, but maybe not totally perfect. Yeah, well, yeah. No, yeah. no movie is ever perfect. No, Mike. but, but it's, I rate it's been the first movie. I didn't like the first movie that much. Uh, could have been done, they could have done so much more with it. Where with this one, they've done a bit more with it. They're a bit more a better storyline. I mean, yeah, okay, it's formulaic and everything else, and I hate formula. But they've tried to make the formula work in this movie. Mm-hmm. So there you go then. Yeah, what do you do? Well, now, you do. wait do. a minute. Cancelled sequel. A third film originally titled, believe it or not, House of Dead 3, uh, <laughs> had been discussed since mid-2006. And? Uh, Mark Altman said it's a completely different approach to mater- uh, material that the first two films, uh, I say. and I doubt it will ever be called House of the Dead 3. Yeah, i say that again. Uh, cause wait I... a minute. The film directed by blah, 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 which ended up with the title Dead and Deader. So the movie did get made. I, I, I think we've seen Dead and Deader. Yeah, we? yeah, yeah, it stinks. Yeah. Well, okay. If it was called Dead and Deader and left the dead House of the Dead alone... Maybe it would have been well, better. Well, they did. They did. It wasn't part of it. They, they called it, made it for a standalone movie called Dead and Dinner. Uh, and yeah. premiered on Sci-Fi in 2006. Uh, yeah. And released straight to DVD. Uh, yeah. It was too much. There was a lot of comedy in that one. And it didn't feel yeah. like it focused. Which one was that one? That one's about um, Dan Kane, who, um, become, who is a soldier in the army. And somehow he t- transforms into a zombie. And then he sort of... Um, he's. I think he's more half zombie and half Zed. Uh, and what, what's the storyline though? Uh, he was just trying to figure out um, who may have done this to him oh, okay, and a lot yeah. of, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a really good yeah, story, I've seen a lot of and yeah, yeah. I was a bit disappointed when they did this story. I was hoping that this would um, tie in with the other two movies, but it didn't. No, no it didn't. So it wasn't what's it what was meant to be. And it was too much comedy in it, and it made it less it um, serious. Like you said, the, the guy who wrote it said that he wasn't going to be wasn't going to be part of the trilogy in the end. But he should have not borrowed the name. Well, he didn't. Well, he said the name. Was, he said, if you listen to what I said, it was going to be done House of the Dead 3, but decided not to worry about it and just do a new movie called Dead and Deader, not part of the House of the Dead. Yeah. Okay, a standalone movie. He didn't use House of Dead 3. Some people might have called it House of Dead 3, <laughs> but it wasn't House of the Dead 3. He yeah. didn't call it House of Dead 3. Mm. He, he called it Dead and Deader. Mm. Okay? Right. Right. No House of Dead references were made in the final film. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. Good. 
there you go. Anyway, now, this um, one's not too bad, <laughs> and I like the fact that that the AMS guys were much more smarter and brighter than the yeah, soldiers. They were. That's a scientist rule. Now, but um, then again, they kept saying, kept thinking that zombies are uh, vicious creatures, and they won't um, if they do do things that seem off, like or 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 misleading, then they're probably just using it as a ruse to get their prey to drop their guard. Exactly. I mean, just like when lions, when they pursue their prey, they, 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 they are actually waiting for, wait in the bushes, and then they wait until when their prey is relaxed and not worried about what's going on, then they pounce and start, and they rip into you. Yeah, they, they're called stalking, Sarah. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Anyway. That's different because in this one, uh, they just mislead you and then they go ahead and then instigate an yeah. attack on the person. Anyway. Now, I'm but they didn't see it that, that <laughs> way because they thought they <laughs> knew what they were talking about, even though they say, we've been there, we've been to the Afghans, we went to Afghanistan. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I've not been to Bali for a holiday too. Yeah. Doesn't mean even, I've killed anybody Even over Jake there. said yeah. in the scene, yeah. he yeah. says that, He's um, been there, and He'd he been says, "He's been there." I'm special services himself. Yes, and yeah. he also explains that. Have you ever encountered a zombie that that previously um, was wearing just your ordinary a, clothes? A, a cute little girl zombie walks up to you. Are you going to be able to shoot her without any questions, without thinking twice? Yeah, and that's we put to them, and they really couldn't answer the question. Uh, they said, like I said, we we're, knew, we knew better. Yeah, 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 right. When it came put to the soldiers, they kept on um, approaching their the supposed zombies, and without it's even a, thinking, they actually of shooting them. They're trying to say, "Are you a zombie, or are you normal, or whatever?" Yeah. If in doubt, shoot it. You know, yeah. It looks like it's not behaving normally or rationally. It's probably a zombie. Okay? Yeah. Like yeah. The, even one of them who decided to demonstrate his martial arts skills, he ends up having the zombie. His uh, mouth, when he was about to break, snap his neck, he actually had his um, hand over its mouth and, and its the face. Bit and him. the zombie bit him. Moron. And then these guys think, we'll bet we can do it. We can chop his hand off and be f- so, and then to avoid getting affected by Zet. Too late. And he built, he, 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 he bit the medic. For, uh, yes. for the first couple of minutes, two guys are down. Yes. Yeah, yeah. These guys have no <laughs> idea that this, how it, this sort of thing works. Anyway, I want to grade it. Yes, we'll there's do. Not, I don't, there's, nothing, there's nothing much to talk about. It's a movie. I know. <laughs> it's, it's just weird. You need, you think these soldier guys, they would have known what they were facing. Anyway. Anyway. Can I grade it now? Yeah, we can rate it okay. now. I grade. I gave the House of the Dead one. Did I give it seven yesterday? Was it? Um, I gave it a six out of um, yeah, I think I think you gave ten. seven. You probably this gave is it. better. It may not be top of the pile, and it's not. Look, it's not a. It's almost an A movie, mm. almost an A movie, but I'm going to give it a uh, eight and a half. I'd say because the filming's good, the storyline's good, the yeah, acting's better. not bad. Yeah, so it, it 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 serves up. Yeah, same same formula crap. I know that, but I'm not. I'm not judging the formula crap. I'm I'm looking at it as entertainment mm. and everything else. So, yeah, as a good entertainer, it's it's not serious enough, but it's enough violence to keep you happy. Mm. There's enough blood to keep you happy. There's a little bit of nudity in it and a bit of humour in it. Yeah, the nudity so I'm it, not it, too it, fond the, of. The formula can sometimes work there. It helps it a bit. So I'm going to give it eight and a half because I think it's a fair go. Yeah. Could have been a tad better in some places, yeah. but s- it's not bad. I swear they're trying when the nudity. They're trying to win points with nudity. No, you know, like I said to you, the formula movies always say things like, "Okay, uh, we're going to make a movie here. We're going to put uh, we're going to put some Max in here. We're going to get some uh, some soldiers in here. Okay, we have two and a half dozen. Yeah, it'll do. And we're going to have some scientists guys. Yeah, two or three of those guys. Uh, now, what are you going to do? Oh, we're going to, oh, yeah, we'll do it in the school. Yeah, it's okay. Bung, they've done that before, but it'll work. And uh, and we've got lots of uh, student zombies running around. Okay, yeah. Uh, how do you want to make them? Fast or slow ones? I'll make these ones fast ones, yeah. Uh, and, and they just put it together like a formula, like making a cake. Yeah. And what happens is sometimes the cake gets burned in the oven. Yeah. I think and, I, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to rate this myself now, and I'm going to say... Eight and a half out of ten myself. Oh, well, nice, I well, think it's a lot better. The story, I think the better movie. actors. This and, I, and I'm not knocking the guys who did the first movie. Just that 
somehow or rather it didn't come to life properly. Pardon yeah, no. the puns about but, you know, I, the zombies. But I life. guess if but they yeah. didn't make that one, we would not have this one. Yeah, but I reckon they could. See, I think they didn't commit to it being a comedy or a serious movie. You're sitting on the fence too much. And yeah. that's where it, la- it lacked, it, it, it lacked uh, direction. Yeah, and sad. And that's why so. it didn't, uh, didn't go good. Yeah, that's, how, that's what happens, guys, yeah. when a movie sits on the fence or like this and mm. and its sequel gets um, a... Yeah, better well, looking. it doesn't get a very proper looking. See, the next movie that House of the Dead 3 they were going to make wasn't going to be, so they changed Dead and Deader, and they made the comedy. Hmm. And they said it's got nothing to do with the House of the Dead, but they, hmm. the same guy who wrote House of the Dead 1 and 2 wrote that, and he said it's going to be different, so I won't, I won't make it part of the group. And he made a funny one. Uh-huh. Whether you like it or not, it's up to you. But mm. but he took it in a different direction and made a different movie in a different line. So, uh-huh. And that's the way it is. You don't, can't, can't keep doing the same old, same old. Sometimes you run out of ideas, it becomes boring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so what I'm going to say now is what I normally do is, where do you get it? Right, okay. If you want to uh, get it. If you want to get it. Mm. Now, um, eBay. There is plenty for sale if you want to buy one. Um, Amazon, it is rentable. There are some for sale, not as much as eBay, but there are a couple available. Now, when you are going onto eBay, Amazon, or similar sites, Mm -hmm. be careful. These are named after a computer game, a PC game, if you will. Mm -hmm. Don't buy the PC game or the Sega game or whatever you're going to buy uh, in uh, accidentally instead of buying the DVD. So be very careful what buttons you press. Have a read before you buy it, okay? Otherwise, yeah. you can you're not going to be playing a game. You be what you if you uh, if you want to watch the DVD. Yeah. Okay. To be honest, guys, um, I think if I had a choice between um, House of the Dead. And Resident Evil. I would probably oh, I choose the Resident Evil franchise over yeah. this one. But I must admit, I must admit, the two people in this one, um, Nightingale and her uh, offside Jake, they did they did a pretty good role. They did good roles. Yeah, okay. I did like them. Um, yeah, they seem to be good. Yeah, they uh, worked together. They good chemistry. They, they worked together. Yeah. Yeah, and I like their trust behind each other because they both came from the AMS guy, you know, group, and they seem to rely on their you know they they what they believe in or what they they think they they should do together and then they but but then both of them don't seem to um either register or regret their decision of killing another person who may have been a set or even turning into oh, a set yeah near enough good enough let's go on there yeah because the that, those guys the army guys when that when that guy got bitten they were thinking of just chopping his hand off and hopefully bandaging it up but, nah. didn't, but didn't realize that maybe how fast the virus may spread and that's one thing i, I found a little bit strange in this yeah it's it does spread a bit on the far side yeah yeah you've got to get through the blood system that you know Chew, quick chew on the neck. Oh, I'm a zombie. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. And then some people yeah. being chewed up by the zombies having lunch, and they don't turn. Yeah. Go figure it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, the soldier mm. guys, they were, didn't seem so bright. They seemed to think that they're, they're all this doing this because they, the, in order to get a medal for, or for their hard work, even though they didn't sound very bright. Yeah. Nah. Well, anyway, they always, they always made them soldiers out to be stupid in these movies, and I don't think that's really fair to real soldiers. Yeah, I, mean, I imagine the yeah. real soldiers are offended, maybe. They can be. I mean, I... I mean, I've looked at old army um, movies over the years and stuff. There's a war going on, and, and they've got these guys coming out like they're uh, they're, they're they're half witch from the outback somewhere in the woods, and go, hey, let's go kill some gooks. And yeah, I mean, the soldiers don't like this. <laughs> yeah. I know soldiers. I, some of my friends are soldiers. So my, yeah. well, I've got a man, a guy, have... a guy we know, Peter. He's uh, he's special services. Yeah, yeah. He he's ex special services, retired, uh, and he did his time. And he's a very nice, intelligent man. Mm. Um, he's not like that. And I presume soldiers in other countries, America, England, whatever, and Europe, they're not they're not retards like the movies make out. So yeah, you know, but it is fun uh, to portray in that way because they're going to get killed off. You, you kill yeah. off the stupid ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think the best word I could describe some of these army guys is that they're cannon fodder. 
Yeah, those have got yeah for the movie. No, in the movie, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. guys. And it's, you know, it's, it, it, it does paint an incorrect picture of the soldiers, but I mean, there are a lot of good guys out there who are serving their countries, and um, mm. uh, I, I, they they may think it's oh, it's a joke, they don't care. But sometimes I look at say, yeah, to me, if I was a soldier, I work my ass yeah. off out there, you're saving people's lives, yeah. and they're trying to make out with are idiots. I mean, yeah, yeah I'd but take you got to admit, Mike, that a lot of people out there either get take offence of this sometimes, or they don't. They kind of, I think, some soldiers may get a laugh out of this, well, or may, yeah. others well, may they, not. They may, they, they, some of the good soldiers want no idiots like this, and yeah. say, "Yeah, I've, well, I used to work with one of these guys." Yeah, yeah he's a real twit. Yeah, yeah. Later yeah. movies, they often keep yeah. on thinking we're going to offend someone, so we must not offend anyone, so we must pretend that we care and all that stuff so they try to write scripts to try to make them less yeah. um offense but they're, less. they're trying to make them funny so in some way so make them the the, the klutzy army guys yeah. are going to die and the side is going to survive of course and, yeah. um watching these types yeah. of things that it doesn't make it any less funny or any less hilarious to watch most yeah. of the time i often anyway. hate hate it when in a movie where they they just think oh we'll just offend someone so let's just do the take the offensive jokes out so we can make this a good movie yeah, you, you good may movie, bore yeah. the audience if you don't put offensive yeah. moments ma- ma- in there. make a good movie that yeah. but don't, don't insult people and stuff but i mean well, it wasn't meant to insult anybody but i'm saying that it, i just it, meant like yeah, that yeah. a little insulting can be fine as long as you don't think this is the way of life yeah no as- reality before or, you know, letting fantasy get in the yeah, way. As long as it's in good fun. Yeah, as long yeah. as it's in good fun, yeah. you get a good laugh, a cheap laugh, but then you, it doesn't ruin your life or yeah, exactly ruin right. an, another person's life. Anyway, do you want to kill it? Yeah, oh, sure the thing. Pun. So, anyway, yeah. be sure to check it out at the places Mike recommended. Well, yeah, there's other places apart. I only use Amazon and eBay, of course, they're handy and they're, more, uh, yeah, they're well known. and but there are other streaming sites and other yeah, platforms. Yeah, like YouTube you and, and maybe, I'm not sure if Netflix and, may yeah, have it, I'm there not are, sure. Yeah, there are other streaming sites and whatever you might find it on and, yeah. and places for sale and stuff, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. If not on streaming sites, be sure to ch- just um, check it out on YouTube. They often have a, a renting and buying thing Yeah, there. I, I, don't, I don't use YouTube. I mean, I find someone's like a pressure ratio is a bit on the low side, so well, yeah. That's probably why they, d- they only allow... It's being a private viewing with individuals. It's not mm. mostly a. It's not meant to be a. Um, must it must be um for pri- for well, private use only. Yeah, but if you've got, you've got a smart TV and you're on the internet and you want to watch a YouTube movie, you'd expect to have really good quality. So mm. it shows up good on your screen. You don't want a pixelating or something, do you? True. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. But there is the option of a high. Res, I mean, high, it's not always. High, That's what I'm saying. One. The, the sunlines and compressions are too much. Yeah, I've, I've downloaded some YouTubey things, and they're just to be a little bit grungy Ooh. on big screen. Yeah. So. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> so that's it from us, guys. Be sure to check out it out and let us know in the comments what you guys think of it because we value your input it, on it, it. It's a good watch. It's better than the first movie. It's like the Babysitter. Babysitter 1 wasn't bad, but I preferred Babysitter 2. Mm. And this is the same thing. It wasn't the first movie in uh, the House mm. of Dead series. Wasn't too bad, a little bit lame in some bits, but the second movie is definitely an improvement. Yeah. yeah. So, so guys, please like and subscribe and yeah. and everything on our channel. So you guys um, continue watching and listening to our podcast and giving us your thoughts on and it. Keep sending that money. Oh, oh no, I'm not sending money, are they? Oh, bugger. no. Anyway, thanks for listening to us, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see you guys. Bye for now. Bye.